lot of people are afraid of black men or they're made anxious by us. And we see that in any range of social responses to people not wanting to sit next to us on the subway. In my book, Choco, I include a passage where uh, the sports journalist, J.J. Andene, talks about that same effect on Southwest where you get to choose your own seat. Uh, he says that if there's a brother sitting in the aisle seat and a brother sitting in the window seat, then that middle seat's the last to go. He says that African-American men love Southwest because we get more leg room. And of course, that's a, you know, a kind of funny effect, but this fear and anxiety about African-American men has much more serious consequences, including us being much more likely to be shot by police. There's this thing called threat vulnerability perception which is like when a cop mistakes my cell phone for a gun and shoots me. Much more likely to happen with African-American men than with Latino men or white men. And so we see all of this power uh, that the cops have to deal with this anxiety, this fear of African-American men. And it's an important explanation of not just why so many people are locked up, but how every brother has to respond to this chokehold. So when we think about how vast the oppression is, about how in many ways a black man has no rights that a police officer is bound to respect, uh, we can understand how deep the chokehold is. And again, we can't think about reform. Well, we have to think about transformation.